Desi chickpea still remains our major winter broadleaf crop in the northern region and growers have become very accustomed to growing it. We have some much better ideas these days about both insect management, disease management, the fit in the rotations. It's almost becoming old hat and that growers are highly skilled at growing this crop. I keep seeing a couple of mistakes that are commonly made both with chickpea and with faber bean. One of them is soil carryovers with herbicides that have been applied, say, during the, uh, the fallow or the previous winter crop, and then growers planting back into that country without sufficient time, and we're getting herbicide injury, delay in maturity, delay in crop establishment, and it's costing them a lot of money. So really, growers need to keep a firm record of what herbicides are being applied in what paddocks over an 18, 18 month period so that they can choose their rotational paddock, paddocks with the best options.